disclaimer before the video, if you guys want me to read like some like Christmas fan fiction or something a little more uh, scandy, then give this video a like and tell me down below what you think I should read next. Also, I don't whisper like this in the beginning of the video, but I get a hang of it, so thank you. It's my first time doing ASMR. I have never done, how do you whisper? <laughs> I have never done a an ASMR video before and I'm gonna do one tonight. I have a very good DIY setup for this video. My microphone is right in front of my face and so is my camera, so just in case it seems like I'm a little close, that's why. I thought of this video tonight. I've always kind of wanted to try ASMR seems interesting. I have a best friend who loves it, so shout out to you. You know who you are, hopefully. I thought I would read some Christmas stories, and I also had another idea of eating Christmas foods, so if you want to see that, give this video a like and leave me a comment down below telling me you'd like to see that. So without further ado, I'm going to read three different stories. Let's get into it. <laughs> By the way, I hope you like my Christmas tree. I'm kind of getting the handle of whispering. I think this sounds better than the voice that was just happening. Okay, these stories are from Storyberry, storyberries.com. I hope you enjoy them. If it seems like I'm looking over here, it's because I am. I'm looking at myself, because who else would I look at? Thank you. This story is called The Frost. It's by Hannah Flagg Good. The frost looked forth one still, clear night, and whispered, Now I shall be out of sight. So through the valley and over the height, <laughs> in silence I'll take my way. This is a really stupid story already. I will not go on with that blustering train, the wind in the snow, the hail in the rain. Oh, I guess it's a poem. Okay. Who makes so much bustle and noise in vain? But I'll be as busy as they. Then he flew to the mountain and powdered its crest. He lit on the trees and their bossy dressed in diamond beads and over the breast. <laughs> what? <laughs> of the quivering lake he spread a coat of mail that it need not fear the downward point of many a spear that hung on its margin far and near where a rock could rear its head. He went to the windows of those who slept, and over each pane like a fairy he crept. I think I know who they're talking about. Wherever he breathed, wherever he slept, by the light of the moon were seen most beautiful things. There were flowers and trees. There were what is that word? There were bevies and birds. Oh, bevies of birds and swarms of bees. There were cities with temples and towers and these, all pictured in silver sheen. But he did one thing that was hardly fair. He peeped in the cupboard and finding there that all had forgotten for him to prepare. Now, just to set them a-thinking, I'll bite this basket of fruit, said he. This costly pitcher all burst in three, <laughs> and the glass of water they've left for me shall chitch to tell them I'm drinking. That was literally the worst. <laughs> that was literally the worst story I have ever read. I couldn't understand a word of it. This one sounds more interesting. <laughs> I don't know why the stories on this website are like 50 billion minutes long, but that seems to be the case with like each one. Oh my gosh, I just found the best one to read. I was actually imagining reading this one when I thought of this video, so here we go. It's called Twas the Night Before Christmas. I hope this sounds cool. <laughs> Twas, oh my god, I look insane. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, 
while fishing. <laughs> while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the... Why do all these have breasts in them? <laughs> The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday objects. Oh, gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old river so lively and quick, I feel really stupid right now. <laughs> I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the house top the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. That doesn't rhyme. Good one though. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on its back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Oh my god, this is really long. <laughs> his eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. My mouth just made a really weird noise, and now I'm self-conscious. His drawl little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the, <laughs> and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. I've heard that one before. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. What? <laughs> but I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> that one was a lot better than the first one, but I still think we could do better, so I'm gonna find a third one. Okay guys, so the Storyberries website did not have like any more good stories, so I went to another website. My fridge is making noises right now, and I found this story that's like two seconds long. And it's called Dear Santa, and I don't know who it was written by, but I think they're new and making poems. Here it is. Dear, it's called Dear Santa. Dear Santa, for Christmas this year, I want lots of cheer and a stuffed bear that won't wear or tear. I want my stocking filled with treats and an iPod that will play very good beats. <laughs> a wonderful train and a pretty umbrella for the watery rain. That doesn't even what. If one present is not here, just one that you've missed, you'll be put on my naughty list. Mic drop, thank you very much. So those are all the stories I'll be reading today. Thank you guys so much for watching or just listening. I don't know if you actually watched. If you guys want me to read like some fun Christmas fan fiction or something, um, hopefully it won't be too inappropriate, but that would be kind of hilarious. So if you have any other suggestions, leave them down below and please subscribe and become a fan. We're having some fun with the holidays, clearly. 
and thank you for joining me for my first ASMR video. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys have a really great day, and um, if you never come back to my channel, have a good holiday season, but please come back because, please, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.